You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Denver Broncos and to a lesser extent, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I, you know, I gave Omar Khan credit because I was like, you know, he did a pretty good job of sort of rebooting the Steelers' quarterback room. But we still have to keep in mind that we are talking about one quarterback that the Chicago Bears gave up on and another one that two teams, the Broncos and the Seahawks, couldn't wait to get rid of. There is a world that exists that when we sit here next year, the Steelers may have gone 7-10 and 10 and Mike Tomlin is coaching a different team. That world does exist, and it could be an utter and complete disaster. Well, it seems, and we know the Denver Broncos drafted Bo Nix, and Sean Payton loves the guy. He loves him, and now there's more reports coming out about how much they love Bo Nix versus Russell Wilson. And we're talking about a rookie that Sean Payton is now more comfortable giving his offense to than Russell Wilson. Now, keep in mind, I did a video just a couple of weeks ago where we found out Russell Wilson essentially could not learn Sean Payton's offense. And I talked about the fact that he would not throw the damn ball to wide-open receivers. He was pulling the ball down. He would run or he'd take a sack, and he took a lot of sacks. And it frustrated Sean Payton, and Sean Payton said, okay, Denver Broncos, we're going to eat $85 million to get rid of this guy. And, And with no apologies on top of it. So now a lot of things are starting to come out around Bo Nix. Now, this is a guy that... Sort of is perfect. It's like if Sean Payton created a quarterback specifically designed for his offense, 6'2", and he's just going to, and they're even using the term, he's going to bore you down the field, surgically bore you, because he's going to throw the ball to the open guy, and they're just going to work the ball down the field until they get in the end zone. Which means there's going to be ball control. Defense is going to be more rested. All your playmakers are going to get involved. So Chris Sims has come out and he's made these comments about Bo Nix. Yeah, there's uh, Sean Payton. Yeah, there's some patience to how he plays. The ball comes out. And because I don't want to use the term boring, that's not the right term. But yeah, he can make pretty good decisions. He's doing well. It was no secret Sean Payton did not think Russell Wilson was making the appropriate decisions in this offense. So Chris Sims said this about Bo Nix. He's just going to surgically destroy you. Surgically destroy you. I'm good enough athletically now to make a play or do something there. It's a perfect fit. It really is. Chris Sims explains Peyton's struggle to avoid the term boring with Russell Wilson's successor blaming psychology. Quote, and I feel like, Sean, to your point, he's being careful. And it felt like he loves the guy already. He doesn't want to go too crazy about it. And he's trying to dance a fine line of not making expectations of fans too crazy. And then also, like, not blowing the kid's head up and making him feel he's better than he is. And we know, also, Colin Cowherd is real tight with Sean Payton. All right? They, they, they became pretty tight when, when Sean was at Fox Sports. Cowherd said, quote, I think Bo Nix is exactly what Payton always talked about when we talked about Breeze and his ability to process stuff quickly and get it out accurately. The ability to ad-lib, but not not the necessity to ad-lib. That was the quarterback they were going to get. Well, that's that's not all that we've been talking about. Look, I I wasn't the biggest Bo Nix dude, but I like his size, and I love the fact that he played so much college ball. 
I think that's a big deal. And these last couple of seasons were just ridiculous with Oregon. Truly. 77% completion, 4,500 yards, 45 TDs. 70% the year before. Uh, 29 TDs, 7 picks. Sean Payton's going to love this guy. He also had 39 rushing touchdowns in his college career. This is going to... Look, Denver could end up having something here. So, you get over to the Denver Sports Podcast. And this is what they're saying in regards to Sean Payton versus Russell Wilson and uh, Bo Nix being in this whole thing. Stevens, this is Zach Stevens, Broncos insider, provided insight into the rookie quickly emerging as the centerpiece of Sean Payton's offensive vision. Stevens said, quote, Bo Nix is just the direct opposite, the exact opposite of Russell Wilson. While this statement might carry an air of confidence in the young quarterback, it it carries a fair share of responsibility. Wilson in Denver was a disheartening story. It remains to be seen if Nix can counter the narrative. For now, he's received a thumbs up from Sean Payton, unlike Russell Wilson. Payton declared, it's been exactly what we saw. The only thing that I can think about is I was a little bit surprised is when we went to work with work out with him privately and stood around him. He was bigger than I expected, but nothing in the last two days. He's doing well. They love this guy. They love this guy. Stevens supported Peyton's sentiments and recounted instances where Nick's seamlessly glided his teammates into position. There was never a moment where Bo looked confused. What did that story say that I just did a couple of weeks ago where we talked about the fact that Russell Wilson was continuously confused? In fact, there were a lot of players that were confused on offense, and he was yelling them, telling them exactly where to go. I saw that multiple times. Guys, this guy may end up being really, really damn good for the Denver Broncos. I mean, look, for a rookie to come come in and already know how to direct traffic in an offense this fast, we're talking about just coming off of a rookie minicamp? Sean Payton, guys, Sean Payton has taken a lot of heat over the last, like, 18 months. And he's literally like a top five offensive mind in the NFL. I mean, look, people around the NFL respect him much more than NFL fans do. I don't know. I think this is going to turn out, and I've got this feeling. I'm starting to get this feeling now because I said I thought Russell Wilson would end up losing his job midseason to Justin Fields. I don't even know how that's going to turn out now. I do think that Arthur Smith's offense may be suited better for Russell Wilson. But Mike Tomlin, I've got a feeling he's very old school, like Sean Payton. i got a feeling he's going to get frustrated with Russell, and it could turn out to be a disaster with the Steelers. It really could. We're acting like this is just going to work. I don't know about that. And the more I hear about Bo Nix, the more I like the guy. I mean, seriously. Now, I'm going to err on the side of Sean Payton in this. Over even an Arthur Smith, who's a pretty good offensive coordinator, but he he knows Sean Payton. All right, Sean Payton's up there with McVay, Shanahan, Andy Reid, those guys. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.